everything. <laughs> <laughs> so between those rising gas prices, grocery prices, and inflation, it might seem like saving money is really hard to do right now. But you can find some tips on saving cash all over social media, including on TikTok. So new for you this morning, I looked into some of these financial TikToks to see how reliable they actually are at helping you make ends meet. Struggling with budgeting? If you're on TikTok, you may be scrolling past videos like this. Here's how to save $15,000 in one year. Budgeting tips, saving suggestions, and more. People are calling it Stock Talk or FinTalk, short for financial TikTok. These hashtags are getting millions, even billions of views on the app. TikTok is fun. It's creating awareness. Um, people can get really savvy, but they only have two minutes to explain it to you. And I think finance takes a little bit longer than that. Sarah Blankenship is the COO at Wilcox Financial in Amherst. She's on TikTok and says these videos are a good start. If you like it to be fun and a little bit of a game to challenge yourself to set some money aside, there are a few risks at doing it that yeah. way, though. In fact, TikTok even has a warning for users saying before you follow any financial advice you see on TikTok, do your research. So we are doing that for you. Blankenship and I sat down to check out these trends. First, the budgeting tips. Here's how to budget if you get paid bi-weekly. If you're following along with these videos, she emphasizes there's no one way to do it. You have to do what works for you. If you're someone who really likes journaling and keeping notebooks, then absolutely. Some people really love everything inside their smartphone. Trend number two is 50, 30, 20 spending. This budget tells you exactly what to do with your income. The suggestion is to to split your income into percentages of needs, wants, and saving, which Blankenship says is a good way to break it all down, but also not one size fits all. Everybody needs to do uh, a 50, 30, 20 strategy. Some, everybody has a different lifestyle. So you might be better off with a 10, 60, 30 strategy instead. Well, Lastly, cash stuffing or envelope challenges. Each week you'll pick an envelope and put that much money in it. Blanket Chip says you might want to think twice about this one. It's risky. It's in your house. It could get lost or stolen or, uh, or otherwise. And so it's always usually better to have it protected in, in your bank account. And in your account, she recommends instead setting up automated savings so you don't even have to think about it. Bottom line here, use FinTalk as a learning opportunity. Learning about finances, learning about the economy is super important. I think the part that might be missing is you want to have a really strong foundation. We want to see people strategically save. So how much money can you actually save by using these TikTok methods? Right now on our website, I broke down the numbers to show you exactly how much these savings can add up to. Just check out this article at WKBW.com. I love that story. So interesting. It was really fun to like go through all of them and yeah. check them out. Someone was like, you can save $15,000 in a year. I was like, whoa. I love <laughs> that. All right, Taylor. And it gets a conversation going, right?